Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be reorganizing all of our combi units, power heads, and attachments by using these combi attachment racks that steel sells. And I'll have part numbers in the description down below. So we got our first one up here. It holds four attachments and a power head, which can also have an attachment mounted. So totaling five attachments and one power head. But we are going to try to mount the FS90 as well that's hanging up with one of these. So I don't know if that'll be possible, but we will see at the end of this video. So I already got one up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I mounted it here. I just found my studs and each one is spaced out I don't know, 18 inches or something, but there's a, <laughs> let me put this down. There's a mounting hole here, mounting hole here, and a mounting hole right here. So you get three mounting points. You just put three screws, pre-drill your holes into the studs, and you got it mounted, secured. I would not recommend standing on it because it'll probably bend the metal. But anyways, um, let me throw this on. Look at that. All right, let me get a little wide shot so you can kind of see while I put the attachments on each rack. So I'm gonna throw a steel bed redefiner attachment right here. And it just clicks in and holds. And then we also have an edger attachment. Now I can throw this one on the other side, but I have plans for a bristle brush attachment right over there. So what we'll do is this is how this attachment holds. You can have it all the way up here if you want. You can have it level, whatever your preference, but that's exactly how it holds. So the rubberized grip here will hold the shaft in place. So that way it doesn't slide down. And when you need to remove it, you just lift up on it and bring it down. So holds by itself. That's pretty cool. You can even put the steel bristle brush attachment. So what we'll do, I don't think it'll go this way. So you have to flip it around with the, uh, the gear shaft side that's closer to the outside in. And since I'm running a equipment defender rack system, I have these collars here. I'm just gonna place it on top of the collar. This is probably the heaviest attachment that steel makes for their combi systems, holding it with no issue. So these are really sturdy racks. Let's go ahead and put one more attachment. We got the adjustable hedge trimmer attachment. We're just gonna slide it up, even it out with the rest of the attachments, kind of level things out and let go. It's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. Nope, there you go, simple as that. And I think that looks pretty cool, very well organized. And I just, my, my biggest pet peeve is having stuff on the floor. I like to sweep my floor and the least amount of items and attachments I have on the floor, uh, the better, because then I can, it makes for easy sweeping and blowing up the garage. So with these attachments, it's gonna definitely reorganize all of my uh, equipment. And let's go ahead and mount this second one. I don't have any space on this side of the wall, so we're gonna have to utilize the other side. All right, so here's where we're at. So this one's completely full, full of attachments. Got a power head, KMA 135R with the Darwin's grip. And then this one, so I couldn't get the uh, FSA 90 on this one here. This is kind of the uh, target, but as you can see, the KMA is almost touching the ground. It's probably like, 
right here. It's probably like you know, five or six inches before it hits the ground. So we kind of got it in the perfect spot possible. We still have a little bit of space on the top as well, but check this out. So these are all my attachments. These are the last two and that's it. I have no more attachments. Steel of course makes um, more and we might buy more in the future. I don't know, but I thought I was done. I got this uh, MSA 200. Look at this. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it. All right. Slide it in here. Lean it down. Boom. There we go. So now we got one spot left. What's that attachment going to be? I don't know. But hey, let me know what how these attachments are. And if you run combi units, even if you run the PAS systems, these work like if you run the um, echo PAS system, these probably will work for the PAS attachments. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos like this. In the meantime, take care. God bless you. And we'll see you in the next one.